best experience you can have as a man is just getting something crazy that you want and losing it and then having to get it back. When you get it back, you'll be way more well-rounded. Last night, right? Yep. I How was, was that? It was great. Uh, the show was the uh, biggest one on tour so far, so the crowd was crazy. Oh, really? And I heard it's like a college town, so they were going crazy last okay. night. This project is exciting because, you know, the first one was produced by me, self-produced, so I went away from that sound a lot. Like I did a lot of uh, different types of sounds. Like I did a project with Metro, I did a project with Wheezy, um, I did albums with my producers, you know. And now the fans, uh, the day one fans are just asking for that original sound, so I'm going back to producing everything by myself. Yeah, I feel like our, our thoughts and our words are way more powerful than we think. And like, I like to take control of that and like hush all the negative ones. Have you always had that mindset or did that become something you developed through um, your artistry? Through like this career, like you can't have no choice. It was, by, it was like no choice. I had to figure out how to be positive all the time because there's times when you feel like just giving up a lot of times, so yeah, no choice. Yeah, I've, I've heard that um, artists have to be a little delusional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, like, That's what I call it, delusionally positive. Like yes. you actually, you think the world is uh, rooting in your favor instead of like against you. Right. That's super dope. And that's evident when you're on stage, right? And you see all of these people rooting with you, for you. Yeah. What is the biggest stage you've ever performed on? Oh, um... Probably the O2 Arena with The weekend. That was like my first time ever um, performing. Uh, he brought me out for Beebs in a Trap. And it was terrifying because it was like, I think it was like 40,000 people or something, something crazy. Your first show? Yeah, ever. Because the first show that I was booked for was Coachella. That was my first booking ever. So that's kind of like big. It's like your first show. So to break the ice, my manager Cash was like, go out on the stage today. That, the Coachella crowd would be nothing compared to this. So I went and did that, and it was, it was crazy. I just remember coming out on the stage, and the first girl I looked at, she was like, who the fuck is that? And I'm like, I just started looking in the sky, and like my arm went dead, and like I wasn't moving around how I was supposed to. It just, everything went out the window. Who are some of your influences like when it comes to live performances? The Weeknd, Travis Scott, um, you know, Uzi, all, all, the, all the greats. Playboy Cardi as well, too. Like, you know, his, his production would be amazing, so, yeah. That's super dope. And um, what are you excited about for the rest of the tour? Like, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, going to cities that I haven't been to in a minute and just touching that, like, fan base that I know they're, like, dying to see me. And they might be smaller, but, you know, they're just as deserving, and I, I can't wait to give them a good show. They tell me, don't forget where you came from. I regret what I came from. But yeah, yeah. Which IG post? Oh, I'm leaving everything tonight. Like, you know what I mean? New York's a very important city to me, so I'm trying to go crazy tonight. You know what I'm saying? Well rested, I'm ready to go. We got him, we got him, we got him. He's in the elevator coming down. It's raining? What's up, buddy? Oh, hell. Honestly, out here I like bowling a lot. Um, we always do like bowling parties. Um, I like to go to, like restaurants like Say Less and Nobu, uh, clubs. Like I like um, One Oak, even Dukes. I like uh, Stafford, that's the Harbor. There's a lot of good clubs out here. That's that's the thing too. Like nightlife here is better than um, I say LA for sure. Oh, we're here. Yeah, we're here. Fine. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I gotta sign a million things, bro. You get tired of signing? My wrist does. Not not, not my heart. My heart is full. <laughs> What's up? Chilling, chilling. This is it tonight. Okay, we're showing weed on camera because weed is definitely getting smoked. 
All I need is some ice. I'm pouring my demons in my cup. Smoking on biscotti. I just told Scotty to beat me up. Think about you do it the harder your head gets. I want my chain 'cause I know I never get touched. Think about it. Nah, I'm gonna hold this in. It's your high one. You gotta hold it lazy so you don't get tired. Your firsts are wildly remarkable and so rare. How does like that make you feel from like you started there to where you've gotten like so much further? I feel like I have, I am with the right team and just like they helped me reach my maximum potential and, and, and kind of like fast forward me in a lot of ways. Like it's not like, oh, I go to the studio and uh, like from Cash's relationship with the artist that I that I want to work with and I'm a complete bozo and they don't like me and they're like, yeah, we'll still do the song because of Cash. It's really because, like, you know, they get to know me and they like me and we genuinely become, you know, friends and want to work together and like my music. So it just helped having all the relationships with my team and with The weekend and everybody, you know? Yeah, it's like right place, right time. For sure. Type of thing. Yeah. That's what's up. Uh, what's one of your favorite moments that's happened during a show or, like, one of the most memorable moments? Um, you know, like, it's always tough, like, when, when a kid's, like, crying and, like, singing the songs to you if they stay focused, you know what I mean? And make it like sometimes feel like choking up or something on stage, but I feel like that's the best moments. Like when people are getting really emotional, you can tell like this is their song, you know what I mean? The whole reason they came here is because of this one. Nav is the average fucking brown boy that grew up in Toronto in Rexdale. Who just happened to fucking make beats and love making beats, and then somehow fucking recorded a song on a microphone that was a hundred dollars. My whole life changed, and I'm grateful as fuck about it. And I love all my fans, and I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this shit. <laughs> We're gonna do a top five and five, so it's very like quick this or that. All right, sativa or indica? Indica. New York or LA? New York. Cullinan or Lambo truck? Lambo truck. Tour bus or PJ? Tour bus. Backwards or pearls? What's pearls? Just a different type of world. Backwards. Okay. But neither, to be honest. Papers okay. now. Okay. Papers and Graba. You know they do that out here, front of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I'm, I'm an East Coaster. I'm from Toronto. So same shit. New York City. Welcome to the Never Sleep Tour. Now make some noise for now. Shooting shit up for we shoot the I got secrets that I'm taking to my you gotta have good like if you if you're blessed enough to have a catalog like I got a catalog where yeah. I could start with some bangers, slow it down in the middle, and still have big songs that are slower that people like, and then end end it off with some more bangers. I think that's the best kind of show. You know, slow it down. Use your slow songs in the middle. Hey. Damn. <laughs> Y'all crazy as a motherfucker here tonight. One, two, one, two, three, let's go, let's go. Let me hold some cash, can you cover the tab for me? Baby. When my bills come in, can you pull it up half for me, baby? Can you buy me a new car for 200? I feel like the best type of people in life, I was saying this other day at dinner, is people that get it all and then lose it and then have to get it back. That's true. You know what I mean? Because then they remember who they shitted on when they, was, when they were up. And then they lost it and who stuck around, everything, it kind of humbles you. And I think I've been through that process. But like, I've had a lot of money and then went down to like, not as much buzz as before. So I had to like resurrect the shit. So that I just value people that stuck with me. And, and, and like, I, like, I remember the people that I didn't treat nicely or whatever. So it really humbles you in life. I think that's the best experience you can have as a man. And just getting something crazy that you want and losing it and then having to get it back. 
cool. And if you get it back, you'll be way more well-rounded and way more cool and down to earth.